so this is a video of me performing an auto-tune on my S550 hexacopter using the new position hold auto-tune feature of Articopter 3.5 Release Candidate 2 uh, performing the auto-tune on just the pitch axis I've already completed it on the roll and yaw axis on this hexacopter Motors arm. So you hear the motors arm, and every time you hear a, a bong in this video, it's a message from Mavlink. So that's an EKF yaw message. Position hold flight mode. Switch to position hold flight mode. Flight mode. And I switched to auto tune flight mode. Not touching the sticks at all. A little bit of the yaw to determine which way it's going. So it actually is pitching, it turned to pitch 90 degrees to the wind. Well, now it turned to pitch into the wind. So the wind is coming from my back where I'm standing and filming. It's actually kind of coming at an angle over my left shoulder uh, towards the, the drone here. So it kind of yaws in between being 90 degrees to the wind and directly into the wind. One of the things I did with this tune is I've left my gimbal connected and active throughout the tuning process. Uh, I got an excellent result on the yaw and roll axis, so I figured I'd leave it active for tuning the pitch axis. As you can see throughout this, I just left my throttle stick in the middle position, have not touched it at all, and I have not touched the pitch or roll stick whatsoever, so it stayed pretty much in the area here that I've been filming at, um, completely automatic as part of the new features in Release Candidate 2. This is the same battery I did the pitch tuning with, so that's why I got the battery low warning. And there's auto-tune success. So that was me doing a reverse, y'all. Stone position hold mode. As yeah, so that y'all are right at the end, after the tones, uh, I took over full control in position hold mode, turned it away from me so that I could 
bring it back safely in. So here are the PIDs before I perform the auto-tune, and here are the PIDs after I perform the auto-tune. 